And Greg, yeah, look, just looking ahead for the week that uh, is to come, obviously now there are a few major things that will happen. We see the markets open on Monday, people will be very interested in that. There's a speech by Bill Shorten on Tuesday at the press club. Oh, before we get to that, of course, there are the costings that are being released We've this afternoon. Costing. I, I've hardly kept track of time, but uh, on the schedule, that would be uh, Chris Burke, uh, Chris Bowen and Tony Burke speaking in the next 10 minutes or so to, to lay out those costings. Don't think for one moment that they'll sink without trace. The government will uh, pick those up and hammer them into tomorrow. We know that uh, time stands still for no one on launch day. Our people who are travelling with the Prime Minister have been told that they'll be on a bus within the next hour to destination unknown, but uh, the campaign will roll on. There's, there are those issues that la you lay out, Chris, uh, and then there's the logistics of whipping around to those seats that you really want to have one last throw of of the dice at uh, just to try and shore it up. Yeah, so we would expect that the campaign tempo will lift this week, but then again, it has been a fairly sedate campaign in terms of the number of appearances that the Prime Minister has had every day, usually just one, usually just early in the morning. I don't know that that will necessarily change because I think the Coalition thinks that's been working for them, but he probably will have to visit a few more sites and certainly the Labor leader, Bill Shorten, will be everywhere in this last week as he tries to scoop up every possible vote. And don't forget, He's coming from a long way behind. If you look at the last parliament, it's 21 seats that he has to make up. Now, there have been some swings and roundabouts in the way that those seats have shifted because of redistributions. But if you look at last parliament to this parliament, they still all have to be won. And we intend to do a bit of a stock take again. I think you're working on that already, Chris, throughout this week, just to check with those whose job it is in the major parties to track those seats and check the numbers as best they can. It's done by... Uh, mechanisms usually performed in an evening to try and get a fix on the numbers but uh, try and check that off again this week we, we know that it's fewer than 20 in play it's 15 it's po possibly 12 and uh, a lot needs to break Bill Shorten's way to gain the majority of those. All right, so that's where we'll leave it for now. We are expecting that sometime in the not-too-distant future we will be hearing from Chris Bowen and Tony Burke, the two financial men inside the Labor Party, who will be releasing the Labor Party's uh, costings. It's something that has been long anticipated and they seem to be trying to do it today in the shadow of this leadership launch, as of this, sorry, campaign launch. But I think you'll find that, as Greg said, that we'll be hearing a lot more about those numbers, no matter what they say, over the course of the next week. So, Jim Mel, that's where we'll leave it for now. Thanks, Chris. Now the top stories from ABC News.